Good morning from gorgeous Cork. We have a full day planned. I received a rather special itinerary from a local that we will be following as we go on our adventure today and tomorrow with a small break for checking out some pearling. There will be a whole separate video on that that you should check out. It's going to be awesome. Super awesome. Cork! Did you know, honey, I didn't even know about Cork before we came to Ireland. I didn't either. I think I first heard about Cork from my hairstylist saying, you need to go to Cork. But it's like the second biggest city in all of Ireland. And if you ask someone from Cork, they might tell you that really this should have been the capital of Ireland, not Dublin. Let's check it out. Our first stop is to the English market. It's been around since like the 1700s. And it's so called the English market because when it first opened, only the English were allowed to go to it. There was a separate Irish market. Mm. But now it is like the foodie heart of Cork from what I've read. Yeah, and we've been there before. It's pretty cool, so. We're going back? This time for something sweet, right? Cork's iconic English market has been around since the 1780s. It's faced floods, fires, famines, wars, and economic downturns. Plans to demolish the market were proposed in the 1970s and again in the 80s. Now, the English market is a popular foodie destination full of local independent food producers and retailers. Most of the businesses are family run, and it's absolutely worth it to stop there if you're in Cork. Who's another stylist that I work with told me I should totally go to the bread shop here called ABC Bread, Alternative Bread Company. When you go, go early. We visited the market a couple of times during our stay in Ireland and it's much less hectic in the morning than it is in the afternoon. It felt like just us and a few locals between 8 and 9 a.m. Now we're gonna find some coffee and then we're gonna go to a park and enjoy our snack. Yes, we are. I'm just pulling up the address for the park. Cafe Gusto is just a minute away from the English market, and they have some pretty good coffee. How far is this walk to this park? It's about a 20 minute walk. It's a long way to walk just to have a treat and some coffee. Well, some breakfast, and you've got to burn some calories before having the treaty breakfast. All right. So when Fenton recommended this park, did he tell you what we should do at the park? No, not specifically, just that it's a beautiful park. I think it's close to the university. Uh, the, the art museum that we're gonna go to after is right next to it. And then also there's like the shaky bridge oh. in it. Uh, and I think we've gotta check that out. Hopefully we can find it. Yeah, We like weird bridges, don't we? <laughs> Well, it's a suspension bridge, and it's shaky. Is it the smallest suspension bridge in Ireland? No, I don't believe so. The largest? No, I don't believe so. It's shaky, though. <laughs> the locals call it the shaky bridge. What was the, the, the bridge that we did in, um, man, I don't even remember. There was one in Maine that was the little, the little shaky bridge. Okay, all right. So we've been on a shaky bridge before. Yeah. Let's... I don't think it was named. Oh, no, it was called the Wiggly Bridge. Yes. The Wiggly Bridge of Maine. Do it, Chris. You can do it. It's all right. Now I know why it's the Wiggly Bridge, but fortunately it's maybe 10 feet up in the air. Not even. No problem. If it's a bridge that moves, we're going to be there. <laughs> now we have arrived at Fitzgerald's Park, and it looks beautiful. Now we gotta see how good the treats are. I'm guessing they're delicious, but we have to find out. Why don't we just eat them? This is a custard baguette, and here we go. Hillier than I thought. <laughs> that custard's good, good custard. How's the baguette? Mm, it's chewy, and then this like gives you that sweetness, but not overly sweet. Mm. Delicious. All right, I have a croissant with a pistachio frosting and some pistachio crumbles on top of there. Oh my gosh, look at that deliciousness. Okay. <laughs> Don't touch. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. 
like the crunch of the pistachio, there's like a little bit of a saltiness to the pistachio, of course, and like cuts through the sweetness of the frosting, which is really nice. Oh, look at that. It's a beautifully done croissant, isn't it? It tastes lovely. It's flaky a little bit. <laughs> All right. What about your thumbs? What are you going to give that? Well, here. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> Let me help you, honey. Thank you. I would definitely give it a thumb up. Above. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah you, I, didn't... Well, I was landing in my thumb. Oh, okay. Well, all right. Chris needs to be a part of my treat. <laughs> Can I just try a little bit? Nope. No. Mitts up. What's the official name of the bridge? The official name of the bridge is Daly's Bridge. Bet you that bridge never thought it was going to be on a YouTube video before. I just remembered a fun fact that I read. This is where Cork's World Fair was held uh, many, many years ago before it became a park. And then it became Fitzgerald's Park. And it's named after the gentleman who uh, was, I believe, uh, mayor of Cork and who was like in charge of bringing the World Fair here. The World Fair like a fairy or something, or like a little sprite. See if you can open it. I did, I can't. Maybe they're asleep, so it's locked yet. I'm not sure. It's like a little elf Stonehenge. <laughs> it's a cool tree. That's all I can say. One of the coolest trees I've ever seen. Are you ready for another suspension bridge, honey? It's like already shaking. The wind shakes it. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, okay. All right, all right. Knock it off, lady. You make it shaky. Knock it off. Would a yellow flag be thrown because I'm taunting? <laughs> definitely, definitely. <laughs> uh, why don't you go across first and I'll join you later, okay? <laughs> From the woman who gets super nervous over tons of things that aren't dangerous. She taunts me on bridges I don't like. I'm sorry, that wasn't very kind of me not. because you're very kind about my anxieties. Oh, I'm actually not that nervous because this bridge isn't up so high. So I think if the bridge is up high, then I get nervous. If it's not high, I'm not so nervous. No, if it were a scary bridge, I would not do that. You did it. Made it. Do you want to thumb up a bump the bridge? Yes. <laughs> and I think we should double thumb up a bump Fitzgerald's Park. It is a gorgeous park. So lovely to walk around the gardens, the pond. And again, there we go. heading to the Glucksman Museum and it's on the UCC campus which was built during Queen Victoria's time. The Glucksman Museum has a bit more modern of a look to it though. See it's a bit more modern than the rest. The Glucksman Art Gallery opened in October of 2004. The following year, it was named the best public building in Ireland by the Royal Institute of Architects of Ireland. Admission to the Glucksman is free. There are donation boxes available and lovely local items to buy in their shop. While the exhibit we just checked out at the Glucksman Art Gallery is titled fashion and includes fashion. That fashion isn't frilly cute, oh my goodness, you've got to see this stitch type of fashion. It embraced activism, showing how you can wear clothes in such a way to express yourself. And then that film we watched. About how clothing is made in China and what they go through. It's like a 15 hour film. We didn't stay for the whole thing. No, yeah. thoroughly depressing to be honest. Sad, but then t-shirts are like a great article of clothing for getting a message out. They are probably the most popular type of clothing for using it as a, a way to 
communicate an idea without yeah. having to work on words. Yeah. Yeah. No need to kiss a Blarney stone to find them, yeah. that sort of thing. And I think from now on in our videos, I just wear t-shirts and just say what I'm trying to say. Them up above to the Booksman. Very nice space, very charming. Uh, the folks working there are very kind. Yes. O'Flynn's Gourmet Sausages is one of Cork's best known food brands. The family run business first set up shop in the English market back in 1921. This is the Kransky, got a little bit of spice. I can smell the cheese, it's very pungent. Here we go. Oh, the bread feels awesome. Good bread. I didn't get any sausage. Time out. The sausage was fantastic. A little disappointed that they don't have sauerkraut because you know how I feel, right? Or if you've been watching, you know how I feel about that. Otherwise, tasted good. Next time, I would ask to have grilled onions put on top because that would have made it just that little bit much better. What do you got for thumbs? <laughs> Melissa, once again, you picked a great spot. It was delicious. A good premium sausage for sure. And then fast casual, I loved it. On to the next one. Our next stop is Shannon Bells, and we know exactly where we're going. We don't need to use the map because we've spotted the goldie fish in the sky. I have to confess, the fishy saved us. We were walking in these curvy streets, and all of a sudden I lost track of where the place was. Looked up, saw the fish. The goldie fish. The goldie fish. Amazing. Who even needs phones and Google <laughs> Maps and Apple Maps? Just need a goldie fish. Melissa thinks that we can actually walk up there and maybe even ring the bells. So we'll see. Look at this. Ear protection. What song you want to play? Huh? I think I want to do Sailing Away by Rod Stewart. How about you? Well, you're going to do it. I'm just going to record you. <laughs> Could you hold these then too? Sure. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you knew this, but the rambunctious people in front of us, uh, they pulled the string from up there and kind of ruined your, your little song. Peckers. <laughs> <laughs> I said peckers. We're gonna grab our gear to be prepared. Shannon Bells and Tower. What do you think, hun? That was wild. Climbing up through that those small crevices and it just was like, I'm, am I supposed to be climbing here? That's what I thought. Way cool. Yeah, there was one spot with even a little ladder. Did you get that? Did you get to see yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. And then you had to duck under the thing. It's like... I hit my head. Oh, did you? They should have given me a helmet instead of just these things. Definite them up oh, a God. lot. I'm glad we did this. That was cool. 
very fun. We've made it to our hotel and as is often the case, Chris is busy doing company tech support stuff. Why can't tech just work and keep on working? They're not even getting an IP address. Okay, so in case you didn't know, that means internet protocol. Whoa! But I don't really know what the issue is. Before I give a quick room tour, I do want to share that the weather really cooperated pretty well with us today. When we were outside, occasionally there'd be a light shower, but all of the hard showers happened while we were indoors grabbing a bite to eat or exploring the art gallery. So we're pretty lucky. Now this room is lovely. We're at... There's been so many hotels. We're at the Clayton Hotel here in Cork, and I'm very excited to report that it has a bath in the room. I love it when there's a bath. I always bring my bath salts with. Oh, it's so nice. See how happy I am? Closet, messy stuff. And then we do have a lovely, cozy little bed. It'll be really nice for snuggling later. Hello from the nice little snuggly bed. Oh, very important. Blarney Castle is here with us. Lovely desk. Cute chairs. I kind of want one of those. And there's two. Take one. And then right outside of our room. This is a nice classy place. I'm very glad that we chose it. We didn't get like a huge glamorous room or anything like that, but it'll be nice to call home for the day. Good morning. Good morning from the Clayton Hotel in lovely Cork City. Uh, that was a chipper entry. <laughs> Way to go. We started off by having a lovely breakfast here at the hotel. Then we walked over to Starbucks, grabbed a pumpkin spice latte, made our way back here. And now it's time for us to like continue on with the Cork Adventure. So nothing yesterday was the Cork Adventure? I said it's time for us to continue on. Oh, I thought you said time to start. Mm, no, I think you I said, said time to start. No, I do I think said... so. Roll it back. And now it's time for us to like continue on with the Cork Adventure. We have like three or four things planned today. Three. Again, these are recommended by somebody from the area, so he should know. I'm counting on that. Yes. If these are awful. Although yesterday was all wonderful. It so. was wonderful. Today we're going to the Crawford Art Gallery, then we are going to the Cork City Jail, and then to St. Finbar's Cathedral. Well, let's get going then. Yes! We ate here last night. It was lovely. Their margaritas were top notch. I couldn't resist trying their blue cheese empanadas. Delicious. Their queso was great and their tacos, ugh, oh, fantastic. gentleman at the door, security guy, I don't know. He said start at the top, so we're starting at the top. Originally built in 1724 as the city's custom house, the Crawford Art Gallery has over 3,000 works in its collection. Admission is free, though donations are welcome. During our visit to the gallery, we were able to check out the Corbin Walker As Far As I Can See exhibition. We are not good at following directions. Well, we thought we were upstairs at the top level. There's one more level, so let's go. We made it to the meat and potatoes exhibition. We also checked out Etna Jordan's Mise en Scène Part 2. Perry Street Market Cafe is a restaurant, cafe, and store all in one. It's been open since 2013. I tried their light and fluffy waffles with berry compote and whipped cream. Positively scrumptious. I went for the special of the day, the Peri Peri Chicken. It was pretty tasty. We've walked by this restaurant about three or four times and it's always packed. 
so we had to come here and eat. There's a reason it's packed. Yes. It's delicious. The it's service is friendly. Yes. The atmosphere's super cool. Perry Street is the real deal. Delicious. Yes, my love? I'll pay that. Good, because we need to get going. Uh, the tour starts at 2 o'clock. It's 1.35. I think we can make it fun. I don't want to miss a tour. Every tour we have gone on in Ireland has been phenomenal. We're only going to have nine minutes to spare. And we have to find parking. And we have to buy our tickets. And then we have to get on that tour. I don't know what to do, hon. I don't know this area. We've been warned about this weather. We're only going to have six minutes to spare. If this light changes. Someday. World's longest light. <gasps> Good job. You complain enough that things pan out. Life according to Chris. Oh, don't hit the back of that car. <laughs> They're parked. I know. But I wasn't going to. I was at Elsa and you said that. I was like, what is she talking about? All right, we've got like, I don't know, four minutes to spare now, but we found parking right away. Let's hope we can get tickets and into the tour. Oh, my hair, my hair. Oh my gosh, this rain is crazy. We missed the guided tour and had to opt for the audio tour instead. When you go, be sure to book your tickets online ahead of time. Cork City Jail accepted its first prisoner in 1824 and was used during the Irish Civil War to imprison male and female Republicans. It closed its doors as a working prison in 1923. I would never want this to be home. Yeah, it doesn't seem very cozy, does it? It'd be cozy with you, though. I think we could manage for a bit. All right, let's try. Mm. Yeah, not bad, <laughs> not bad. Not super romantic, though, either. Yeah, probably not. complete. We had to do the audio guide, which I wasn't thrilled with, but it was really very good. Um, it's crazy busy on a Sunday, so once again, learning about what people had to go through back in the 1700s and 1800s. Ah, we have it easy. That we do. Little kids had to go to jail. Nine-year-olds, ten-year-olds, and they would whip them. No thumb up a bump on the actual history, oh, yeah. but a thumb up a bump on the experience. This building is cool. It is raining quite a bit today. This is probably the worst rain we've had since we've been yeah, in Ireland. Yeah. But hey, leisure testing does not stop, so... St. Finbar's Cathedral. Okay, here we go. You excited? Yes. I don't know if that was normal, but that was not fun. I was happy we didn't like come across any ponds or lakes in the road, but it's still raining like crazy. It's getting super windy. I'm glad we didn't have to walk. It's church time. St. Finbar's Cathedral. We're going in there. Uh, and I think we're gonna need to make the visit quick. Do you see how I said church time and all of a sudden it stopped raining for about three seconds? That was amazing. Oh my gosh. Cork. Sorry we couldn't share St. Finbar's and sorry that we couldn't go in. 
the choir was practicing and they're about to have a church service. They reopen for tours at like 4.30 or 5 o'clock or something. But with this weather, we've just got to go back to Kinsale. It looked gorgeous from what I saw. Of it. Yeah, it did. I got a some shots, you know. But Cork itself, I think we had a fun adventure. First time having to deal with so much rain. And wind and... <laughs> so we've been very fortunate in our island adventure to to really see some cool places without crazy weather, so. And this is the last of our, like, day trips in Ireland. Yes, it is. Oh my gosh, wow. I give it a, a thumb up above? Yes. Well, let's give it a couple, yeah. Oh. We couldn't resist returning to Cork to see inside St. Finbar's Church. Isn't it gorgeous? If you want to see more gorgeous Ireland videos, check out these links right here.